Hey guys, Scott Drummond here. Just wanted to do a quick little video to show you sort of my process when I uh, ink in Clip Studio Paint. The first thing I do, uh, you'll see here obviously, is to basically get a real rough, uh, I guess this isn't quite as rough uh, as I have done in the past, but a, a rough sketch to ha so you know exactly what you're going to be inking, obviously. Um, these drawings started off a lot looser initially uh, and then I kept kind of digging through them and, and, and getting a lot closer to the, the final product that I wanted and then when I was happy with how it kind of all looked I uh, went over to the side there where it's got the effect uh, and I turned basically all those layers uh, to blue line and sort of reduced the opacity it kind of helps me separate what the this looks like versus um, you know what what the pencils are versus what the inks are and and keeps everything very crisp and clean uh, it's, it it also helps you know to know what has been inked and has not been inked so that's kind of why I like the blue a lot of people you know when they ink traditionally will print off blue line sketches and things like that so that or you know we'll actually do pencils in blue so this is sort of kind of a harkening back to those old school days uh, when I used to do it that way as well uh, next thing I do is you know you kind of saw how I had that real thick outline on this character uh, this is Mariana from my uh, comic book Night Smoke uh, she's kind of got this you know big imposing presence on this panel uh, so I wanted since this uh, she doesn't have an outline I wanted to sort of make her really pop off that page initially and so I use that uh, sort of uh, really thick brush. Uh, the, the brushes I'm using, I've got a link below in the comments. Uh, they're free to download from my Gumroad if you'd like them. What I've done is sort of gone into Clip and made some new brushes based off of some tech pens that I have. Um, and basically went through and did all that. So uh, I could do another video later on to kind of show you how to do that. But for right now, if you want to have those brushes for free, they're available. Uh, or you can, you know, th throw me a couple bucks if you really love them. Um, at this point, I'm sort of going through and doing some detail work, getting some of that basic shape going uh, going on. I'm using a thinner brush, that O1 uh, brush, instead of those thicker brushes, so that it, you know, kind of has that nice contrast. Another thing I'm trying to kind of keep in mind is the light source. In this scene, uh, there's a television sort of to our right, her left. And so I'm kind of trying to make sure that uh, whatever is going on, uh, I'm, I'm basically trying to keep that light source in mind. At this point, it's not that big of a deal, but you'll see later on when I really throw this into high, kind of high relief, you know, some, some big shadows and stuff. That uh, that's kind of where that light source is coming from. Right now, I'm trying to make sure that I've got details that are going on that I'll probably end up covering up later. But I want to make sure that I sort of know where all those bits and pieces are, if that makes any sense. So I can, when I cover them up, they're still in the right place. It sounds kind of crazy, but it makes sense to me. Sort of like here. So now I've kind of taken that uh, thicker that uh, nylon brush uh, that I've, I've made uh, and really kind of digging into that hair kind of you know doing a lot of thick work over there and then I'm gonna probably go back over it with the smaller pens uh, and, and basically kind of dig back and forth into that hair to get a really nice kind of texture going on and make sure that you can tell that the light source is coming from the right and and not uh, you know just sort of ethereal Those different kind of brushes can also help give, you know, some different textures for different areas, you know, really push the, how, it, how it's, you know, kind of framed. So I think I kind of stop here for a second, save it, yeah, there we go. Oh, and now, yeah, that's what I'm doing here. So I've basically taken out those little areas behind there. The way that clip sort of works is that those panels are not exactly editable necessarily on their own 
you want to kind of keep all that stuff in there. So I had just a white layer in between the panel border and the and the figure there to kind of make make it look like there's something else there. So now here I'm going in, like I was saying before, with those you know thick thick uh, shadow areas uh, to kind of really throw her in relief. I've been doing this uh, this extra little bit, this dark dark shadow on the far side on another layer, so I can kind of flip that on and off, like you see there. Make sure I kind of like it. Sometimes I do that if I you know have some real thick areas that I'm not really sure about. So like here I'm like digging on that nose and it's you know I'm like ah no that's not gonna work so I can erase that without losing all the stuff that I've done before. I try not to do that too much because it can become a handicap, but you know, is what it is. That's about it. Here's the the final inked piece. I did a little bit of extra work after I stopped recording here, and I've got another video of uh, me doing all the coloring for this. Uh, so I'll post that uh, soon. But uh, so make sure to, you know, subscribe to the video if you like this kind of stuff. And yeah, thanks for checking it out. Uh, if you got any questions about Clip, please let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll uh, do my best to answer them or maybe even do a whole video on whatever you ask. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.